Hey guys, good afternoon to all of you. Saurav here. Welcome to my uh, seventh video. Now, actually, I was quite busy, so I was not able to upload the videos of other subjects as well. You know, whether it's a practical or one particular topic, I was quite busy in other things that as well. So today, during our practical, uh, our ma'am taught us a very uh, important and easy experiment, which is MOSFET as a source follower. It is a very easy experiment and uh, this platform which I have used is Tinkercad and uh, she has asked us that you should create this circuit either on Tinkercad or Multisim but I have chosen a Tinkercad because on Multisim it takes a long time you know to create those waves and to remember the measurements but there is nothing like that in Tinkercad it's a very easy platform and uh, you just get these components whatever you want to search like multimeter you can get it over here by just searching multimeter like this so i would like to explain you the this circuit but before explaining this circuit i would like to tell you all the function of each and every component which is present here so the first one this is the multimeter now what exactly is a multimeter multimeter is a multifunctional electrical measuring instrument its main function is measuring characteristics of electric signal it combines the function of voltmeter and ammeter and it measures two or more electrical values like voltage current resistance etc as you all know it can be used for testing batteries household wiring and for many more purposes this is the voltmeter and over here is the small breadboard which i have taken you know breadboard you can type over here small breadboard and over here you'll get small breadboard and just drag it over here to show the components on this platform so the breadboard the function for the, the function of breadboard allows for easy and quick creation of temporary electronic circuits or to carry out experiments with the help of circuit design the breadboard enables us to easily connect components with the help of rows and columns of internally connected spring clips as you can see these are the columns and the rows we can connect the component like i have connected this nmos um, transistor over here we can connect any component over here and like that we can just connect the wires along to that so this was about the function breadboard then i have taken these two registers as they are very important in order to get the simulation over here i won't do it right now i'll just first tell you the component of each and every I will tell each and every component which is there currently in front of you. So this is the resistor of 1 kilo ohm and this is the resistor of 5 kilo ohm. Both of them are same but you can keep it of any value. I have chosen 1 and 5 kilo ohm respectively. So resistor is a two terminal electrical component that implements electrical resistance as a circuit element. They are used to reduce current flow, adjust signal levels and they are used to divide voltages. The functions all of you must be knowing they are diversion and partial pressure all of you must be knowing resistor as you have studied in physics last year or in 11th and 12th so these two are the resistors and i have kept them kept them on the breadboard with the help of these uh, rows and columns like i mentioned we can place the component over here it will be easy then this is the nmos transistor now this transistor operates by creating an inversion layer in a peak type transistor body nmos will form a closed circuit with the source when voltage is non negligible but pmos will form an open circuit with the source when voltage is non negligible there are two types of mosfet pmos and nmos so i have taken nmos as it is very applicable for the mosfet saturation but here we have taken nmos and the last component which i'll show you is the power supply in which we can get the value for current power supply is a device that converts one voltage to another more convenient voltage while deliver delivering the power we are delivering the power over here means while starting the simulation we'll get the values over here power supplies are designed from output back to the input it also converts power and uh, it's known for converting the electric current from source to the correct voltage we need the correct voltage and current value and uh, also frequencies measured to the power load so this was the uh, circuit and i have mentioned 
I have uh, defined all the components to you. Now we'll start the simulation. So this is the simulation. Here the value you will get here in the power supply is 10 volt, which is measured in voltage, and over here is 2 milliampere. But we need to find out what we are getting in multimeter. This is the multimeter, and so for the value of voltage which is in multimeter which is stored in the multimeter in which we are getting it is 10 volt so this is the voltage and when we click over here it is current 7.87 milliampere or we can you can say approximately 7.98 milliampere and resistance there was no need to so therefore an error will come so this was the uh, circuit the name again is MOSFET as a source follower which we did in today's practical and it was a very interesting uh, experiment I enjoyed it and it worked really fast you know you can do this same experiment on multisim app but it will take a long time like I said previously you, know, you need to know the values the scales the channels also but over here you just need to drag the components over here and then just you know put the terminals over here and like over here you can see now I'm just moving this for a while let me just stop the simulation just drag it over here and then you can attach the terminals like this is the positive terminal which is getting attached to uh, terminal 2 of this first register and then this is the negative which is which gets attached to the terminal 2 of second register same goes for here so this is how this experiment was now I hope all of you understood and uh, I will be looking forward to share more videos based on the experiments whether it's in Tinkercad or Multisim. Thank you all. Have a great day. Bye.